you want to do more dentistry in less time? As a dentist, as a Dr. Nacho, I know that answer is yes. And I have a special guest with me here today who's going to help us learn how we can do just that. So glad to have you on Talking Nachos. Share with our audience who you are and what you do to help dentists. Yeah, my name is uh, Art Morales. I'm a dentist in California, and I'm the co-founder of Instarisa Digital Workflows. So, so appreciate you guys sponsoring us. Super excited for our upcoming webinar on how you're going to help our audience understand how to implement digital technology. But it's so popular, Art, to talk about what's your why, the book by Simon Sinek, you know, always Absolutely. be evaluating your why. So, you know, when did you graduate from dental school? 2002, brother. So yeah, 2002, we're the same, right? Yeah, right? yeah, you look much better than I. You got more hair. Than <laughs> I don't know. Though. You look great, too. So I always say when I graduated from school, I had four friends and a Hotmail account. There was no podcast. There was no Facebook groups. It was just me and my friends. We didn't know the answer. We were out of luck, right? So, yeah. so much has changed. So you've literally had and figured your feet in both worlds of analog and digital dentistry. Yeah. Someone's thinking about digital dentistry, thinking about watching in on enhancing your practice through it, why should they do that? What's it done for you? Yeah, I'll tell you, I, I'm a COIS clinical instructor at the COIS Center, and, and that's where the foundation of everything that we've done has evolved from is, you know, John talks about, through, you know, facially driven treatment plans, right? Yeah. So bringing the face into the context and making sure that the patient gets what they deserve. And, uh, you know, in the analog world, there's such a lack of precision, of accuracy, that is complete opposite in the digital world where right. the accuracy is there. And now you eliminate kind of the human error. I'll give you a quick example. Let's say that you're trying to mount two models that are poured up in stone. Okay. Think about everything that has to be perfect. The water powder ratio has to be perfect. Yeah. The temperature has to be perfect. The person mounting it has to have experience. And then when you put the rubber bands together, you got to make sure it doesn't distort. Right. Right. Yeah. Then we get restorations back and they're high and we wonder why, right? Okay, now compared to digital, you scan the patient, you send those images to the lab. There's no human error. If you scan the bite wrong, it's not the lab's fault, it's your fault. But there's less hands touching it. So the yeah. level of accuracy is so much better. So here's the point. If I can create a system based on digital dentistry, that's gonna give me better results, faster, less appointments, at a lower cost after the initial investment, why not do it? And yeah. that's 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 what we've been able to do in my practice. And that's what we share with the industry's digital workflow. And what I think is so cool about this is, you know, when you have these secrets to unlock more awesomeness for dentists, I would say there's three things that El Nachos does, helps dentists increase success, decrease mm -hmm. stress, and most of all art, reduce the number of times they feel like crying inside a day, okay? Because that's <laughs> yeah. your true measure of success. How many times are you with a patient and you go, I really want to cry inside, but I'm a dentist. I yeah. got to keep my crying on the inside, sweating on the outside. So if somebody yeah. was watching this, is this a good webinar if they just want to get started? Is this a good webinar if they want to hands? What is Instarisa doing in their daily lives to help dentists cry less inside? Yeah, you know, digital dentistry is scary. Let's be honest, right? Yeah. I mean, I remember when I first was contemplating buying an intraoral scanner and not having the comfort of using polyvinyl siloxane, yeah. like, oh, right? I mean, we were all kind of struggled with that. And so what we do is we really have tested the waters. We know what technology works. We know how to assemble the technology to work in a cohesive ecosystem. And then we also provide the training and the teaching, yeah. you know, that comes along with it. So, you know, what we're here to do is really eliminate the fear of change from dentists. And regardless of where they're at, if they want to go all in, fine. But if they want to just kind of put their you know, their toes in the water, per se, then that's OK. We can work with them because we transition from analog to now 100 percent. I love that concept. I mean, just being aware of something before you take action is so key. I yeah. want to share with people they can text digital to 215-543-6454 to watch this webinar for totally for free to learn. Because, you know, I run these companies now and I had heard of Salesforce and I had heard of Sub HubSpot. And yeah. now I'm using HubSpot. It's a, it's a huge part of my life. HubSpot is my digital dentistry. But four years ago, mm -hmm. I was like, I don't know what it does, how we use it. And I see digital dentistry. That's where it is for dentists, right? And it's yeah. normal to feel overwhelmed. And it's normal to feel apprehensive. But once my sense is, this is how you tell something's good in life. My sense is people never really go back the other way, right? Like no one no. says, oh, I wish I could get that PVS out again and use it. Is that what right. you're finding with whether it's your clients or the people taking your courses? Yeah. 
100%. I mean, once you see digital dentistry, it's very difficult to go to unsee it, <laughs> right? Yeah. It's very difficult to go backwards. And I will say that with the InstaResa workflow, it is 100% digital. So modelless, right? And everything's done on computer screen. And now we have the ability to show the patient what their restoration is going to look like with their face in three dimensions yeah. before you pick up a handpiece. I would, I would love for you to, to share this with John Coyce. He's an idol of mine. Um, I spoke on a um, panel with him once and he was so kind. He said, you know, we're going to hear from Gary Takis on insurance. We're going to hear from Jason Olitzi on um, smile design. And we're going to hear from Dr. Nacho on this. And it was just, it was such a good moment for me. But I was sitting in the Hinman Dental Conference watching him in 2004. You could maybe remind him of this story. And he goes, surgeons who do orthognathic surgery, they're guessing back then. They cut the jaw free. It was very funny. They cut the jaw free. One surgeon holds it. Yep. And the other surgeon stands back and goes, how does it look, Bob? And they go, looks good. We'll screw it in. And now 20 years later, you guys are making, uh, I don't know if the face stuff predictable. Is that a, a good way to put it? Yeah, for sure. I mean, think about this though, right? Let's just talk about dentures. Okay. Let's say you're going to make a yeah. denture. Patient comes in and you're going to charge them X amount of dollars for a denture. So you're asking them to pay you, let's just say it's $5,000 for a set of dentures. They're going to give you $5,000 and they are putting all their hopes and dreams and their money that it's going to look good, right? What else do you buy for $5,000 that you can't touch and test and see yeah. before you buy it? And so what we're doing is we're eliminating that by now letting them at least see it before they buy it. And we tell them with confidence, what you see, Mrs. Jones, is exactly what you're going to get. I, and they're seeing it. it with their face. I also just think, you know, it's not illegal for dentists to have fun. And what I see from being down at that conference with you and the pay raise, and they say, it's like digital dentistry just seems to make dentistry more fun. Is that something you would say? You know, listen, as dentists, we all have bad days, right? But I will tell you, without a doubt, I have far less bad days these days doing it digitally than I did in the past right? When it was just so unpredictable. I didn't know if this case was going to go sideways or if it was going to be smooth sailing. And we yeah. go into the case like this. <laughs> yeah. So I think you guys embody the not just spirit, digital dentistry. Yeah. What Insta does will help you cry less inside. I want to share with people text digital to 215-543-6454 yeah. for this upcoming webinar. Art, really enjoyed meeting you in person. Can't wait to do thank this you. webinar. And thank you so much for this support. Hey, thanks for the opportunity, buddy. Appreciate it. God bless.